Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving So, let's see if the pirates will beat the shit out of me a second time In Dungeons & Dragons Online I don't hold much hope, I'm gonna be honest Though don't these usually have a higher level of difficulty too? Nope. Not on that one. Must be level 10 to enter. Okay, so there is things here. Good, my lord, good. Let's see if we can beat them. And I think this would need him resurrected. Resurrected. Fox Thor stands on the black sand beach, surrounded by wreckage. He doesn't seem to know where he is, or how he got there. Foxport doesn't remember how you ended up on this distant shore. So you tell him hey, the Kekna. story. A tale of pirates, a shipwreck. And an angry god. It all started back in Storm Reach. Foxpaw had sent a message summoning you to the harbor. Before you could find him, you were accosted by a mysterious stranger. The stranger no, vanished as suddenly a as he appeared. Then Foxpaw god. hailed you from the god water's damn. edge. He wanted to discuss the strange teleporting island. Foxpaw said he wanted to show you some experiment related to the conch of secrets. He had mounted the magical artifact onto an arcane device he had built. Foxpaw had amplified the artifact's magical signature, creating bait to draw the pirates to him. Was this a bold strategy or reckless insanity? You were about to find out. The pirate made her way up from the dark. I went back. This time, this time you won't escape. Then the mysterious stranger shimmered into view again. The pirates instantly fell to their knees, and a strange feeling washed over you. You dare ask me to fix your bungling? You dare invoke the name of Fekna? The mysterious stranger transformed, taking on a new and terrifying shape. Yet for some reason, you found yourself unable to attack. Gatekeeper, pick that up. As if in a trance, Foxball obediently retrieved the conch of secrets. But Gran, you will be punished for your failure. But for now, that must wait. Let us finish the business at hand. Drow, give the artifact to this half orc. Roll. Take these fools to the ship, then prepare to set sail back to the island. I like raps, but I need to Quickly, get efficiency in them. This world's defenses are yet untested. I will personally deal with these interlopers. And examination is The effects of the gods' magical domination wore off hours later. You awoke, imprisoned inside the brig of the pirate ship.
much great that is. Marissa, I like you. Come here, you can't. Where are you? to save okay so customize AI now try to resurrect which she has wow okay he manages to actually resurrect me, that would be... labeled the Isle of Dread, though it was less of a chart and more of a list of magical incantations. Notes in the margin describe the island teleporting, and there were multiple references to the elemental plane of water. Teleporting! Hold on! And we're on the other side. Scan the water! We need to steer clear of the little wildlife. Oh, sink me. How did those bilge rats get out of their cage? already teleported and this ship along with it know this you are trapped on this plane by my will I control the only way off of the Isle of Dread I will attend to you in due time for now make your way on the Isle of Dread if you can the crewless ship was now adrift. 
There was a sudden thud, then a rending crack. A gigantic creature reared out of the depths, shattering the wooden ship. You were forced to swim for your life. Fortunately, the ship had sunk near that strange teleporting island. You soon found yourself near shore. ourselves held captive by the god Vecna, shipwrecked on the mysterious Isle of Dread. I mean, yeah, I can. I'm the little fucker that killed the uh, killed dudes in Jurassic Park. Fellow gamer with a squirrel.
Okay, so where do I find... There it is. I need to talk to the innkeeper to save my position, because otherwise I'm going to get tossed like a f in <laughs> the lock down here. So is this... That way? Okay. Gotcha. There we go. That's what we needed. Now I can fuck around and find out with Gusto. They got a big blade, bitch. This is a nice jump as well. We might make it all the way. Yeah, we will. All the way down. Let's go in canoe, comrade. What's the worst can, that can happen? Oh, damn, I was worried a wee bit that I'd find the game boring again, but eh. Uh... You arrive on the shore of this small island. In the distance, you can see the Kopru's encampment, a fortified stone structure built into a natural rocky enclosure. Just ahead, you spot the man you were sent to meet. Owen Reeve, a former slave who has been freed from the Kopru's mind control. Owen Reeve informs you that the cursing element is protected by a gigantic threat. Yet the Kopru also fears the dark energies protecting the station. And so they have developed a defense mechanism to wrangle the beast. You approach a group of guards who stand at attention before the gate. When they see you, they charge forward. You enter the natural stone enclosure. Inside, you notice four ballistas along the perimeter, each aimed at the giant crab. Behind it, you see the cursed monolith in the hands of a tall statue. You overhear a conversation between a Kopru lieutenant and a guard. Use caution, says the Kopru. Make sure the beast remains calm. The safety of the monolith depends on it. Do not let it remain on your turn, for even a minute. Kopu suddenly turns toward you. Intruders! Come out now, they near the wall. Minions! Brilliant charge! Beware the crab. We shall detain you after we take care of you. A mystic barrel shimmers into being and bars you from exiting the arena. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. The Kopru lieutenant crumbles at your feet. The rogue hits the ground with a thud and remains still. 
A Kobru officer appears, along with a slew of reinforcements. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is the chance to immobilize the beast. garbled cry before slumping into the sand. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. A group of reinforcements enters the arena. emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. A group of reinforcements enters the arena. emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. The ballista's arrow clangs into position, ready to fire. Emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. A group of reinforcements enters the arena. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. The ballista's arrow clangs into position, ready to fire. Mm -hmm. The ballista's arrow clangs into position, ready to fire. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. I'm waiting for it to come over there, because that's where this one's pointing. Come on. I think this should be it. Nope. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. A group of reinforcements enters the arena. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. Scuttles the destroyer. No fire directly that way. crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. The bolt careens into the crab's underbelly, knocking it off balance and stunning it. 
The force field surrounding both the crab and the monolith fade away. The crab shakes out of its daze, riding itself with a great effort. Upon sensing it raises its pincer to attack. the crab for good this time. You touch the monolith and feel a jolt of energy as the attunement is bestowed upon you. No bags, no nothing. There it is, actually. Okay, let's grab good old reliable and see. So that's a hammer and a shiny one too. You like it. Let's see now. My girl did take some damage. Can we rest up? No, that's it with this one. Okay. Good. Very good. Yeah. God, that's a long way to run. We still have a shield. I suspect this is a hammer shield mix. Now I guess we're gonna need to find one. time actually Pirate's Point. Where the fuck is Pirate's Point? It ain't that way.
cheating a little bit, but eh. Always her luck. Always. Vile tongue. Could be worse, could be warm tongue. But it's 32 minutes and I have to leave it off here now, ladies and gentlemen. Catch you guys and gals next time. Thank you for watching, or more precisely surviving up until this point, because you guys know the editing's kinda interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, it gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.